party of people. My name is Kyle Stolk. Welcome to this week's newest vlog of Stolk. And we're gonna go have some fun. So stay tuned and let's go. Before we begin, I wanna remind everybody, a few weeks ago, I told you guys I was giving away a swim clinic. I'm gonna give you guys one more week to send in your entries. I've had quite a few, so it's gonna be tough to decide. But last week, last chance. So don't forget, tag me on Instagram and use the hashtag uh, stalk clinic send me an email if you don't know how check the vlog from a few weeks later over the clinic and who knows maybe your club will be the lucky winner um, last weekend I went to Brighton to go see my oh my parents they live in Worthing went to England to go see my parents so that was great went from a uh, Thursday from Wednesday evening through to Sunday morning and um, it was just great to catch up uh, not through a telephone we didn't actually do anything exciting Kind of spend most of the time watching uh, Grey's Anatomy with my mom. That's our like mother son bonding show. Grey's Anatomy season fifteen. It's amazing. If you want a good series to binge, go for it. Grey's Anatomy. We went for lunch, or we went to go get cake and coffee, and this place called Haskins, and they had this whole Christmas section. And I walked in, and my mom pointed to something, and I was like, "Oh, I need that." It's not a want. It's a need. This is something I need in my life. Without this, my life is not complete. So I want to introduce you guys to probably my best purchase ever. The one and only Rainbow Marshmallow. Look at him. He is so fluffy. I'm gonna die. He is incredible. He has now become our couch pillow. So whenever we sit on the couch, we can just cuddle him, can just sit here and enjoy rainbow marshmallow. Shrimp likes him too. Right, Shrimp? Yeah. Best purchase ever. For today's vlog, um, it's really not a very special week. Training, uh, got my internship Monday, Tuesday, it went well. Wednesday, it is today. And some important things need to be done, so I'm gonna take it with me. Firstly, we need to clean the fish tank. Hi. That's step one. And I've got a vacuum. Don't like vacuuming, but I have to vacuum. And then we're gonna put up the Christmas tree. In this household, we do not believe in premature Christmas decorating. Like it's only a month and a half to Christmas. Best time of the year. Hope you guys are also putting up your tree. If you're not, you have something to do this weekend, go put up your Christmas tree. Enjoy it. Get into the holiday spirit. So my step one to clean the fish tank. Gonna take everything out, wash it with hot water, no soap, because soap is bad for fishies. Try and clean off the bottom as much as possible, and then hopefully add a lot of clean water, the fish will be happy again. At the moment, they're not that happy. Look at that. That's intense. That's murky. I wouldn't want to live in there. No. No, no, no. No, no. So I've taken everything out, and it doesn't look any better. But in the time being, while well, I'm gonna clean everything, you guys can watch the fishies. Make sure they don't eat each other. So at the moment, I'm taking out their Doherty water, which is filthy. Look at that. I think it's black. Shrimp will probably drink from it. So I can put in new clean water. That's the idea. Hopefully it will go good. Hope that the fish aren't too stressed. It's, uh, it's gonna take a while. If there's anybody that enjoys cleaning fish tanks, that wouldn't mind like coming by once a week to kind of like just polish it off a little, comment down here. Let me know, and 
I will contact you to come and clean my fish tank. Aquarium is clean, just needs time to settle, and then we'll all be good. The fish look happy again, from what I can say. They're going blub blub blub, which I feel in fish language means that they're happy with it. But it's clean! Give us some time to settle. I will show you guys later tonight. Like, it's pretty early now. And I do think that within now and like two hours, all the dust will have settled and it will be spotless. My time living out of home, like I've been, I moved out from my parents about a year and a half ago. Not even, like June 2017. What I've really realized is that like household chores, vacuuming, cleaning, washing, laundry, kind of like, I've got pots and pans here and the rubbish bin that needs to be taken out. Like, my standards, this is pretty clean, but by my girlfriend's standards, the house is a mess. Women and men have different levels of messiness. Women have them much earlier than men. Like, I could live in this for like a year and it wouldn't be a problem. Whereas Carmen is coming home in about an hour and everything needs to be spotless. So, I've got a time limit. But this really has made me appreciate living at home. So for all those like young swimmers out there that kind of, you want to go home and you want to be this big macho person and it goes out on their own, don't do it. Stay at home. Leech off your parents as long as they can. Like I was last week and I was at my mom, but I was at home and my mom did like everything. So cooking, cleaning, washing, laundry, kind of everything she does. I could just like sit on the couch, watch my show, play Fortnite, it was all good. Now, gotta do the dishes, gotta go buy stuff, gotta clean, gotta vacuum, gotta clean the fish. So stay at home, enjoy it, live the moment, stay at home. See, and then this happens. Okay, it is time for some premature Christmas decorating. We've got everything ready. We've got the hot chocolate with cream and marshmallows. We've got the Christmas tunes. Let's go. As you can see, premature Christmas decorating is a success. Big success. Got it everywhere. According to Carmen, it's too much. Everything I do is wrong. She wanted to decorate. See all the little things. Come on. Wee. Huh, Carmen? You're always right. The woman is always right. You know that, Annie. When I did it, this was too much. When she does it, she adds yeah, extra and then it's not too much. Woman logic. So, all the Christmas decorations are up. We've got our little elves running around the house. Uh, end of the vlog. Not very spectacular. Enjoyable day. I enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it thumbs up and subscribe before you go I want to give you guys a tip um, I get asked quite a lot how do I like balance my lifestyle kind of like time management and how do I do like swimming school internships 
girlfriend, having to uh, do the grocery shopping, do everything. But for me, the most important tip that I can give you guys is to find the balance in your lifestyle. So for me, the balance is very much, I've got this like very stress related job, kind of like swimming and a top sport. And the balance against that is to find the time to relax, recover, do stuff that give you energy. Don't think about like relaxing and recovering as sleeping all day or just sitting on the couch doing nothing. But think of it as doing stuff to give you energy. That can be going out for dinner, going out with friends, seeing a movie, going for a walk, kind of take a day trip somewhere. If that gives you energy, then it's only good. So that's my tip to you guys. Enjoy your evening and I will see you next week, Friday, 7 o'clock. Later, Stoke Nair.